Ahoy, Let's Watchers! It's me, your valiant Captain Vasco! Uh, if you're watching these live, you'll have noticed that I missed a week of recording, and I apologize for that. Uh, it wasn't just Thanksgiving week, but also I had a catastrophic failure of the hardware that I used to record these Let's Plays, and it happened on very short notice, and I wasn't able to uh, fix it before I had to fly home for my family's Thanksgiving. So apologies for that, uh, and in an effort to make it up to you guys, I'm going to try and get all of Spider-Man Noir done this week. It shouldn't be too hard, but I'm pretty bad at playing Spider-Man Noir, so let's see how that works out. In the last episode, we uh, finished off Kraven in his jungle level, and his uh, ridiculous super speed Eye of the Tiger. And today we'll be taking on Hammerhead in the 1930s world of Spider-Man Noir. Let's cut out all that ado, huh? Start. Normal. So, yeah, as I mentioned, uh, flew home to, uh, my family home in Pennsylvania for Thanksgiving. Night on the waterfront. Ooh. On the docks, rats scurry about their grim business. Tip from Felicia Hardy brought me here. Looks like she was onto something. Whoa, it's slipping! Hey, look at this. It's just a hunk of rock. What's all the extra protection for? The goblin paying you to ask questions now? Hammerhead! No, Hammerhead. Then shut up. Goblin says the spider's coming after the tablet, and he wants all measures taken to stop him getting it. I'm flattered. Now load it in before I lose my cool. It is oh, just a small cool. piece of rock. It shouldn't actually be that difficult to load it into the car. It's him. It's I mean, I suppose Hammerhead doesn't have hands. That makes it a little more difficult. We could sort of use them as, like, tongs or something. I think we lost them. Keep your eyes peeled. You see something, shoot first and ask questions. Never. We're not taking any chances. Read me? Loud and clear, boss. I suppose he does have hands. You just Welcome, never boss. see him not holding guns. Save it. Well, not holding at least one gun. You'll see what I mean later on. Delivery for Mr. Osborn. That's right, Hammerhead. And I'm gonna follow you right to him. Whips it. Too many Tommy guns for my taste. Better hug the shadows for now. Unless I want to get filled full of holes. Montana, you're with me. We got business to discuss. Right, boss. You and you. Watch my back while we're on the move. It's not important Savvy. to learn right, the names boss. of lackeys, especially right, lackeys who are going to be picked off, yeah, boss. Stand you know, pretty handily in just a moment. From what I can see, you've had a lot of practice. All right, you mutts, listen up! Of course, Osborne pride always comes be before a fall, eh? And Mr. So, let's see how long it takes me to get caught. Here's a uh, fun fact about uh, Spider-Man Noir levels. Uh, you know, they, they keep hinting that, oh, like, it would be, it would be good to stay in the shadows because, like, fighting Tommy guns is terrible. Boo, it sucks. The, the real thing of it, though, is that you actually, to my knowledge, no matter how hard I've tried, you actually cannot defeat enemies in these stealth takedown sections using melee combat. So you could, like, run up behind someone, use, like, a heavy attack to launch them into the air, or try to launch them into the air, and uh, it would do you no good. Like, they wouldn't get... They, they wouldn't even feel it. They, they don't have any sort of, like, health bar, they don't take any damage, like, all you do is expose yourself and get shot in the face a bunch real quick. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab some emblems, because I'm pretty sure every level has a uh, spider emblem collector mission. I think there's some other stuff floating around and tucked in these corners, if I remember. I have had a chance to, uh, to play through this level to get my bearings a little bit, so I've improved my familiarity with it, and hopefully that will show in this, uh, this segment that I am recording now. The one that you are watching right now. Cutscene activate! Open. That's one of the train yard workers. What's this all about? Why? Why are you doing this? Let's just say I don't want anyone sticking their web nose in my business. The Spider-Man tries to pull a rescue, we grease this stooge. Savvy? 
Yeah, I, I'd like good. to say yes, but Let's go. He the, have the heavy use of 30s colloquialisms is makes me sort of off-putting. I mean, it's endearing in what its own way, but at the same time, what the I'll heck are they talking about? <laughs> oh yeah, that one's not so hard. They sort of take you out of the cutscene, like, primed and uh, like ready to talks, take that bloke you know? down. Yeah, I said bloke, like a British guy. Let's, uh, let's do something a little different for this one. There is a uh, hidden spider. Whispering. Whispering. I want to... I've mostly done the same two takedowns for this first section. And I'd like to have an opportunity to change that up. He's not the only the tricky one. Oh, nope, I've ruined everything. See, this is what happens when I try and, uh, show off. Make things visually interesting. This is inhumane. Help me! It's Spider-Man. <sighs> See, there's a uh, there's a type of takedown you can do from close range, and I believe in multiple instances there are uh, Web of Destiny challenges that require you to uh, to perform them multiple times within a level. But it is the most difficult. There, you literally have to be essentially touching them. You have to be like. You know that red circle that appears around them when you're, like, pseudo-targeting them? You have, like, the camera aimed in their direction? Uh, you, you have to be within that circle and press B while undetected. It's very, very difficult to pull off. It helps to try and, like, walk up to them, but at the same time, most of the guards in these sections are pacing back and forth, and at any moment can suddenly turn around and detect you. Even if you do it perfectly. So I picked up that hidden spider, and I believe this is our first introduction to bystanders, or civilians, as they're more commonly referred to in the game. And, uh, they appear in, in multiple levels, sometimes more than once within a single level. And, uh, they're, they're also handled in various ways. We'll get, uh, we'll get a look at some of them later. But so here in this, uh, first section with them, uh, every time you rescue one, they open a gate for you and then run the hell away because, you know, they're, they're not, they're not noir comic book heroes. So, keep an eye on it. Ah, and here's, that would be our first introduction to what I like to call noir vision, which I think is the lamest thing in the whole stupid universe. There's, whoever programmed the, I see the visual the sense for the enemies in the Spider-Man noir levels of this game was not a human being and did not understand how human vision worked. So if I was to stand in this circle of light, there's like a 30% chance at least get that, that, uh, that anyone within the room will be able to randomly see me by just looking in my general direction. So here we go. We've uh, we've completed our first Web of Destiny challenge for this section. Uh, let's take a look. Web of Destiny, right button. So th this is actually an oddity, I think. I don't remember this coming up a lot in other levels of the game, where you can you can actually accomplish multiple Web of Destiny challenges in this first section uh, without ever uh, completing the first one. Whereas, in most cases, you don't even have an opportunity to try most of the others until you've, you've uh, completed the challenge at the center of the web. Here you can complete multiple if you do it right. I've probably so already happy. made it impossible no? to do. There's one Listen that's like, you have to do I'm five thrilled. takedowns in a row without being detected. <laughs> I think I was right on the verge when that uh, first guy done. spotted me. He wants me to be his little errand boy out the liver. He's got Osborne pulling strings. I've got a floating head lady. I'm starting to wonder which one. So, if I recall, I think there are six different types of takedowns. There's, there's like, there's like, from a wall, from standing, touching them, um, from overhead. This is inhumane! Help me! I don't even remember how many I've named at this point. But, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll use an annotation to tell you what the other ones are. I'll figure it out. It'll be fine, trust me. So yeah, that's two workers down towards our first actual, theoretically, 
uh, completable challenge in this section. You want to keep them Don't ever talk Also, an, uh, a really strange instance uh, will probably come up in just a moment. Dang it. It's really hard to pull off. Great. Just Oh, and the camera see, okay. Here is one of the real sticking points for me about the whole Spider-Man Noir thing. There are particular sections of these levels where they really want or even require you to be like crawling along walls, and like sometimes the camera just like has a, a conniption fit. Like freaks the hell out, you have no idea what's going on. And then, more more than likely, someone will spot you, and everyone will start shooting machine guns at you. And I take this guy down close range if it kills me. Which it will, because there are other guys with machine guns here. Now see, I've done two practice runs at this level within the past week. Both of them I managed to complete almost flawlessly. Which was really strange for me, because as I've mentioned, I both hate and am terrible at Spider-Man noir levels. Look around. So Find I was it. like, wow, maybe I'll just like knock this out. Uh, check it. Oh, come on. Uh, like, okay. I readily accept that I'm really bad at Spider-Man noir. Hidden spider here on this car, by the way. But like there why would why did he turn around? I was walking quietly. There was nothing. There was nothing that would have caused that guy to turn around and detect me right when he did. Alright, we've solved another challenge before completing the first one. I think the first time I played through uh, on my practice run, I got like four challenges before I even uh, completed the Open the Gates challenge. Oh, great. This is this guy. Look, up there! Oh, come on! Time to hoof it. Uh, yeah, this is this is what I was expecting to have happen when I played Spider-Man Noir. A whole a whole lot of this. It's just there's not a whole lot of consistency or realism in the whole like visual hitbox thing, which kind of bites hard because it is a stealth. So the whole this is inhumane. We the done whole yet? gameplay of uh, of the Spider-Man Noir sections of this game uh, are centered around stealth, and so the fact that like the the enemies will just detect you sometimes for no reason at all. Like obviously, like half of this time, I'm just like not paying the requisite amount of attention, and thus stupid things are happening. But like honestly, some of these times they're just they're like seeing through like solid objects and like looking out the back of their head and stuff. I just really don't like the way it's implemented. So let's take a brief look at what we've accomplished here because I've really been glossing over the uh, Web of Destiny so far in this level. So first off we've got the Spider's Mark which is just 10 takedowns which you pretty much have to complete 10 takedowns to accomplish this level. Uh, hang in there. Let's do five perch takedowns. Those are the overhead ones where you're standing on like a scaffolding or a lamp post and there's a dude under you and you take him down. So we've done that. Uh, against the wall, that's when you're crawling on a wall and you take someone down from that position. It, it Honestly, the, the takedowns in Spider-Man Noir sound almost like, you know, Kama Sutra positions or something. It's, it's kind of weird. I don't know why they did that. Uh, stealth and style is like perform, f yeah, four different types of takedowns, which I've done at least like perch and wall and uh, I haven't actually managed an up close one yet. They're really bothers me. They're very try. difficult. So there's spider ammo, if I recall. Yeah, there's still one dude over there. But check this out. Okay, usually if you can actually get up close to a civilian, you can just press B and sort of deal with the consequences if you're not in a safe zone. For some here. reason, this is the only time I remember this happening, uh, it, it, it just says, Spider this Sense is still tingling, mean, threat NEARBY! I don't know why nearby is in all caps. I feel like threat is a more capital-worthy word. Hey, I see okay, you. that was super Spider, 
Spider-Man Noir vision. Like, that was garbage. There's no reason that dude should have seen me. And yet he did. Let's see if I can perform my favorite type of takedown, which isn't actually one of the, uh, like, six defined time. types of takedowns. It's what I like to call a rapid takedown. When you, like, leap from above or out of the shadows, and all of a sudden you just you rapidly press B before they even have a chance to look at you. I need help finding Hammerhead. And you, uh, and you still take them down. Yeah, that's right, stealth take them down, because it's a stealth takedown. Do you see what I did there? It's called wordplay. Jeez, he's right there! Oh, honestly, honestly, I'm not even in the same room as that guy, and he's shooting at me. Alright, so, having accomplished... How many... challenges so far? One, two, three... Yeah, I've done six challenges. I think that's probably enough for this episode. Uh, join me next time when uh, hopefully I will manage to... There, there's a, a challenge on this web of destiny that says I want to perform five stealth takedowns in a row without being detected. At some point I'm gonna want to get that done and I am not looking good for that so far. So let's see how that one pans out in the next episode. Join me for more Spider-Man Noir.